Hello everybody and welcome to my Exiled Caliphite's Charm Collecting Guide. Now with the weekly familiarization activity, you will be able to get triple charm drops for 40 minutes here, which will allow you to get over 400 combined crimson and blue charms, just like the title says. Without that, you'll be able to get about 150 combined blue and crimson charms here. And so we're going to be killing these things with ranged in the cave where the Caliphite King is. The profit is not the greatest and same with the XP, but it's decent for both. Um, they do drop some rune things that you can elk and they do drop a lot of blue and crimson charms about a 30 percent drop rate for each and they're very easy to kill i recommend at least 70 range and 70 defense you can go lower but then you're not going to be able to kill them as efficiently i would recommend desert treasure being done so you can get there pretty easily and as always copy the action bar in the bottom left corner and let's get started So this inventory setup here is for Soul Split. You're going to want to bring uh, 10 plus Super Store potions. Defense and range potions is a little overkill. They don't do that much damage. You especially really don't need defense potions unless you're low defense level. Uh, range potions you can bring to increase your DPS just a little bit. And then bring a couple of food just in case you start getting smacked around for whatever reason. Um, if you're going to be staying there for a long time, then I would highly recommend bringing Elk Runes to Elk the... Uh, rune full helms and the rune chain bodies that they do drop occasionally and then um, bunny if is only necessary if you don't have soul split now if you don't have soul split I'd say bring the same amount of super store potions and then just bring more food and bring a couple bunyip pouches they do drop sharks quite often so it shouldn't be too much of a problem because they don't do that much damage but if you don't have soul split I definitely bring tank gear over power gear like armadillo so, for your equipment now, um, I would highly recommend using the Royal Crossbow here. At minimum, I would use the Crystal Bow, which is level 70. Anything lower than that, and you're really going to be suffering with your DPS and your accuracy. So, if you don't have Soul Split, I would recommend using Carols. If you do have Soul Split, I recommend using Armadil, because you're going to be getting a lot faster kills with that Armadil, because you get the damage boost. And so Royal Bolts, if you're using the Royal Crossbow, bring a Ring of Wealth if you'd like to get some of those lucky Ring of Wealth drops, or else just an Archer's Ring to get you some, uh, some critical hit chance. Boots and Gloves for life points, you can bring Armadillo Boots and Gloves just to increase your DPS even more. And then an Ava's Accumulator, uh, just for picking up some bolts and also will give you a nice critical hit. So to get there now, this is where Desert Treasure comes in. You're going to want to use the Bandit Camp Lodestone. And from there, uh, we're just going to want to run south, past the Pyramid, and uh, that's where we'll find the Exiled Caliphite Cave. So just follow my lead and I will get back to you when we get there. If you've been to this cave before, you'll know where I'm talking about. This is where your grave drops when you're killing the Caliphite King. It is called the uh, Exiled Graveyard. And so this is where you'll find four Caliphite Marauders. You may find bots in your world if that's the case, and just hop around until you find an open world. So from here on out, it's smooth sailing. All you're going to do is pot up and start killing these bad boys. So um, I wouldn't recommend having Soul Split on the whole time. As you can see, they're not doing that much damage. Um, so I would recommend using a lot of Threshold abilities and don't save up to use Ultimates. It's not worth it. You kill them too fast. Thresholds just rip through their armor and you'll be hitting very accurately against them. And you can just start seeing the blue and crimson charms just start raining down. And this concludes my Exiled Caliphite Charm Collecting Guide. If you guys enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving a like or comment telling me I did a good job. If you'd like to see more content, then be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff, and as always, thank you to my brother Peter for allowing me to use the music on his music promotion channel. He did change the name of that to Diamond Network, D-I-A-M-O-N. It's still on the same channel, just different names, so don't worry about that. You'll find all the good music I use in my videos on that channel. So, have a good day, guys, and I hope you enjoyed.